My primary responsibilities are to bring in business and maintain a stable team. Uh, as well as bailing out the gang from the police station, returning snacks and toys to kids, and catching anyone secretly slacking off during a job. I guess you could say all this extra work comes with being part of the Arataki gang. I suppose that leaders of other groups wouldn't have to put up with that kind of stuff. But then again, no one else could do the job like me. Madam Kujo? Yes, she's a friend of mine. Huh? You're surprised that I know her? Oh, you must have misunderstood. I knew her from before I joined the Arataki gang. <laughs> In fact, it's hard to tell who's the winner whenever we spar. After the Sakoku decree was lifted, the Raiden Shogun issued many decrees aimed at supporting the development of various industries. All those certificates I received during the Sakoku decree are coming in real handy now, and the gang is finally out of the red. <laughs> Fate really does have its ways. Who would have thought after all that, I'd still have her to thank. You can't imagine how boring it is to be a shrine maiden. Even Lady Guji from the Grand Narukami Shrine has her publishing gig to break up the monotony. I will never go back to being a shrine maiden. Never. Back then, I had an argument with my family, and I only wanted to run away as far as I could. So, I went to study law in Liyue, but thanks to this experience, I got to meet Yenfei. She's like a walking law encyclopedia. Huh? Me? I have a certificate, but there are a lot of restrictions for practicing law. It's not really the right field for me. <sighs> The boss has a lot of unpleasant memories from his past, but he still manages to stay positive. I'd say that kind of resilience is pretty rare. He treats us well, and his character has a good effect on everyone in the gang. Of course, it's never an excuse for him to run amok with no consideration for others. Just let me know if he ever causes you any trouble, and I'll be sure to make him regret ever being rude to you. Hmm, he is different from the other Doshin of the Tenryo Commission. I have yet to see him on patrol or apprehend anyone, and he occasionally comes to me to buy intelligence. In exchange, I asked him to put in a good word for me whenever I'm bailing people out of the police station. He gladly agreed. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. After all, getting the boys to keep their eyes and ears open on the streets is easy enough. I wear a mask because I don't want to be recognized by anybody, especially when I'm working with the Arataki gang. If someone I know manages to recognize me, they're sure to make a big fuss about it. Oh, it gives me a headache just thinking about it. I won't ever let it happen again. <clears throat> Never mind. Just like a certificate, this vision is solid proof of my capabilities. The only difference is that I'm still not certain about a vision's assessment criteria.